I already know how and when you're going to die, Ash. Oh! He puts his hood back up and goes, hey, 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 hey. She pulls her cloak a little closer down her face. The cloak that I'm sure Sir Charles has not let her take off in day. Nope. <laughs> and she can keep it at this point. Oh, are you saying something about her? Well, if she hasn't Locked taken it off in days, that means she day. hasn't taken a bath in days. <laughs> well, if 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 we had a ch- private opportunity, she would have tried. She would have. It's in public. I'm assuming he's not letting her take it off. Nope. Something about having the word thief tattooed on your forehead doesn't oh, sit well. It's, it's crazy how that how functions. When uh, you say that, we cut back to the guy in the alleyway who now has the word thief. <laughs> He's like on laying his in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> his stump is bleeding out into the ground. But oh, I no, still they, know they, they properly cauterized that stump. Mm. You can't let him bleed out after you've given him this punishment. He needs to live to tell everyone. Oh, wait, that's the anti-paladin talking. That's why the sword was flaming. No, no, it was shaped like a flame. Oh. Which... I wanted to make it very clear that these are traditional Kadir and Kelishites. You know, another one of those non-subtle things that I drop into the campaign, just in case anybody catches that, or is like, I wonder why there's three Kelishites beating some guy up. Nope, just walk past. It's fine. Yes. It's fine. It's none of our business. Hey, hey not my, not my uh, thief, not my problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm Set of the, the exact paladin. mentality as Benny. This is not our business. All right. Hey, the pa- the paladin who does not understand a word that was coming out of that poor soul's mouth. Oh. The screen is gone black. I said, do you speak a my language? A, a scream is universal, but that's okay. Hey. Where's the money to be made? <laughs> it's fine. Screams it's fine. are universal, but for all I know, you said the town guard was there. Yeah. Could be corporal punishment and completely legal here. Yes, trust Fanny. Um, that no one ever. Someone has to. <laughs> <laughs> Are we not friends? I don't know. Did you learn from the first meeting? So I love that you guys are having this conversation on the way to Akintepi's tomb. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfectly fitting, though. Like, you, you're having the conversation as you're, like, climbing down the rope. I think I'm, <laughs> the wrong, I think I'm doing climbing <laughs> up the rope. Maybe we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's up. Yeah, there we go. Ah, yes. Short bow and arrows. Let me, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go check on that roast. Okay. Roast? <laughs> I'd put a dirty murder knife on them. Maybe had him try to pass the knife off on Venny and be like, get rid of it. Venny would stab mm-hmm. him in the back <laughs> in public. <laughs> oh. Gee, uh, so much crazy shit happens there. All right, so what do you guys do? You come downstairs back to where you originally were. I'm pretty sure that this is the only path that you can possibly take. I'm going to check out that door. You're checking out the door. Tell me, how are you checking out the door? Then he will, like, uh, slink up to it, and he'll start, like, waving his hands around, trying to feel for any heat signatures. (laughs) No, no. Uh, he'll start to listen at the at the door. It's a big stone door like the rest. Yep. Yeah, he'll just kind of uh, look around, see if there's any kind of traps again, and then start to listen at the door if he doesn't see any. Okay. Must I perceive? Yes, you must perceive. Oh. I... looks clear yeah you look over the door the door seems like it's uh it's a solid door 
not locked. Swing open easily. Probably no traps on it. I will start to push it open. Charles, you look it over, you get a similar diagnosis. Probably 100% trap free, undoubtedly. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Let me just get outside that 15 foot cone. It's fair. Ah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A tapestry hangs from a frame against the south wall of this large chamber. It depicts an otherworldly vista where souls of the dead, shepherded by strange beings, enter an ethereal river, river ambling through space towards a landscape dominated by an impossibly tall spire. Columns sculpted in the shape of Osirian warriors carrying kopeshes stand in all four corners of the room. The floor is tiled in a white spiral pattern with a black background. The spiral pattern is repeated on the stone double doors to the north, east, and west. That's cool. I guess I'll hop in and start checking out the room and doors. Okay. Into the room. The brute will check around. Okay. Yeah. Fruit, you uh, you notice a few like scarab beetles scurrying. They seem to be moving towards the western door and like crawling under a crack there. Yeah. Venny, you look closely. You notice that the northern and western doors are locked. Well, knowledge of nature. Do is this seem normal for what they're doing? They would have to have some access to um, underground, like, earth, but yes, this does seem completely normal. Okay. Well, we do have the collapsed walls in the next chamber. So is it just, like, regular kind of locks? Like, what, like keyholes? That I might be yep. able to pick. Yeah, or you could certainly attempt to break the doors down. <laughs> That's crazy. I'll they start are a foot thick of stone, but you could certainly do it. I will break out that uh, gold plated masterwork thieves tool kit and start I don't to get to work. I'm saying on. it was gold plated. Uh, well, it has been gold plated since then. Yeah, of course. And there's a platinum reclamation emblem on oh, the front. Yeah, I would have thought it'd be platinum plated. Yeah. <laughs> One mile well, that's thick. That's expensive. I'm just, I'm just gonna look at Vinny in his now gold-plated thieves tools, <laughs> and I'll look back and I'll be like, <laughs> and I'll try to open the door. Or as long as it came out of your share, not mine. It came out of all of our shares. No, I won't say mm -hmm. that. <laughs> <laughs> You can say that, and I'll just give you the look. <laughs> oh. Okay, Vinny, you try to open this door. You're you're scraping tumblers, but nothing really happens. It takes you, you know, 20 or 30 seconds of trying. I'll uh, look over my shoulder, and I'll say, uh, this may take a while. And I'll try again. Okay. Uh, should I take 10? Can I? Sure. Yeah, that'll give me a 22. Okay, you open the door. Or at least you unlock the door. Ah, bingo! And I'll step back and I'll, uh, I'll like, usher Charles over to the door. Okay. I will go ahead and be the fool that opens the door. Sounds pretty foolish, yeah. Sounds about right. Par for the course. You're a fearless leader, after all. So you open the door from the side, as you do, to medium-sized beetles. Oh, good guts. Pop out. Crikey! They seem to have been attracted by the noise that you've made. 
and are now. Hang um, on, you mean you mean the noises Vinny made that were apparently sexually no attractive noise. to the uh, Beatles? The click, the clicking of the locks. Yes. <laughs> oh, the clicking geez. of the locks and scraping of tumblers. Yep. Can I identify these yet? Uh, on your turn, yes. Okay. Oh, they beat me. Gotta get that improved initiative. <laughs> well, they beat me too, but I'm standing right in front of them, so. Yeah, that's okay. They're I'll probably get... going to beat me. <laughs> They're going to eat you. I wrote a macro for GM token and it pressing. It has sped things up a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's sweet. It's the only way to roll, man. So, they're going to move here. Uh, this is a surprise run? Yep. Ash, you're up now. Yeah! Oh! I guess I'm going to... And so they didn't really move towards you. They dug into the ground. And then, like, roaches from uh, StarCraft 2... There's like this, the tile beneath you is getting shattered as they sail forward like sharks, and then they cool. pop out again. You're pretty sure it's going to take a while to put that tile back, because the earth beyond it is disturbed. That's not at all. I'm going to cast defensively. <clears throat> I see. If I could find that macro, that would be, there we go. I'm going to cast a first level spell defensively. Oh, it Sounds like someone aiming for a 17. <laughs> uh, uh, nope. Why did you roll twice? Okay. You fail horribly and lose the spell. Yeah! So this thing starts extending its like little light tendrils towards you, and you're just like, uh. Turn no, 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 no. <laughs> She's like, get away, get away! Oh, crikey. Step on them, step on them hard. All right. Oh. Are they wood beetles? Nope. Uh oh. That would have been worse, actually. Never mind. What is your AC? Your flat foot AC? Both of those hit. All right. Oh, jeez. But it is 17. 17 and a 19 on the die. They deal four points of damage. <clears throat> okay. All right. They just begin eating the Pruge at high speed. They are wood beetles. Benny. I am going to try and stab this thing in the back. Uh, like that. It has a spine, doesn't it? Uh, it might. <laughs> Benny doesn't know that. This is a joke. Yeah. Uh, you stagger this beetle. Oh, with the sneak attack, you definitely kill it. Ah! Yeah, so you just, like, leap on its back and stab it in its uh, brain cluster. Oh, and, and I keep stabbing. Like... And there's just, like, a pile of muck lying in front of Benny. Nice. Deprute. Oh, uh, what's going on with these things? They are called minor beetles. They are a variant of fire beetles. Okay. Why did they surround me specifically? They like to eat stuff. Inorganic okay. material. Well. That can't happen. So. Draw Eat club this. and smash. Do it. Yeah, that'll hit. Alright, you knock that one into death as well. Oh, Quickly yeah. smashing these beetles. The room to the west of you, of course, is completely destroyed, as is some of the tiling in the room that you're in. Anyone here could make a knowledge religion check now that they're looking closely at the floor. I would love to make a knowledge religion check. Yeah, Charles, you recognize, of course, that... Both the floor and the southern wall tapestry are both motifs of phrasma. And the southern wall tapestry specifically depicts death. Where a soul dies, they are guided along by psychopomps of phrasma into the stream where they are judged by phrasma in her tower, the Iron Spire. 
at the edge of the boneyard. And then they continue their course in the great wheel of life. I shall relay the information as... Well, I'll just relay the information. I won't sugarcoat it. Or tell Vinny that's how he's going to die. I've been told that many ways I'm going to die. I think the first is... Cursed! Cursed! The hallway to the west of you narrows sharply, descending to a set of stairs that end at a rough rock wall. Rough rock wall, rough yep. rock wall, rough rock wall. I know, I had some trouble getting through that one. <laughs> that's a tough one. That's all that's down there? Just like a collapsed tunnel? Do I see anything else? Like remains or anything from where it collapsed? Or, you, you know, look through the area. Anything of value? You don't see anything of value here. It looks like the area at the foot of the stairs was never excavated. So is the tapestry intact, like not damaged by the ravages of time? That's correct. Hmm. It would go well in my room. Is it worth anything? Uh, it's worth one gold piece. Perfect. I'll use it as a blanket. <clears throat> Normally it would be worth more. Unfortunately, what it depicts is considered heretical nowadays. <laughs> I suppose I'll try to open this other door. Well, it's, it's ancient of Syriani. It's got to oh, be worth listen. something to a collector. Sure. Yeah, it six is, silver heretical. pieces. <laughs> DePrute wants to listen through this door first. Okay, you listen through this door. With a 24, you hear nothing from the other side. It sounds completely and <clears throat> utterly silent. DePrute will give Benny a nod. Don't. Click, 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 click. Oh, oh. That's a fail. Should have... Taking 10 again. All right, yeah, you failed to get the door open. In fact, you make a lot of noise, and you hear a snapping noise as one of your picks is destroyed. Uh, well, time Shouldn't to go to the 10 gauge. Gold. <laughs> they are a bit heavier, that's true. Be careful, Benny. Uh, I will try to take 10 again. All right, you managed to pop the door open pretty easily. Now step back. Now, do you name your picks, or are they just, you know, picks? Well, there's, like, the 10-gauge pick, the 8-gauge pick. Okay, I didn't know if you'd call there's them, different... like, Samantha and Jennifer or something. Maybe after we've unlocked a few more things, that might happen. Oh, once your relationship gets closer. Yeah, they're new. <laughs> as, as your relationship gets stronger. Like, that one that just broke, I'm going to have to get it repaired, so... That'll be... All right, you come to another set of doors. Must be open. The doors do not appear to be locked, Sir Charles. They look, they appear perfectly safe to me. Yeah. Kick I'll them open. Ahead. I'll go ahead and open the next set of doors. Okay. Beyond it is another set of doors. Oh, oh, seriously, what the fuck? Now we're being <laughs> trolled. Are the stairs still going in the same direction? <laughs> yep. No, so they're going, going back up. Okay. Yeah. That would be trolling if the stairs went down <laughs> just to reach another sense. That's why I asked. I will open the next set of doors. Right. I feel like there's a joke here. Superheated water trap. Benny, ah. it would appear there are more stairs. You check the door at the bottom. It opens easily. Ooh. The center of this large octagonal room is a raised square platform a few inches above the floor, with a stone pillar at each corner. A gold-trimmed sarcophagus sits in the center of the platform, flanked by two statues of humanoid beings with canine heads, each of which holds an ankh in one of its crossed arms. Stone double doors exit the room to the north and south. What do you do? Um, I'm going to take 20 searching this entire room. 
Uh, you didn't listen to me. Now I get to punch him in the face, right? You can try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll be asleep. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, so, like, such that's how Vinny rolls. <laughs> I would like to go look at the sarcophagus a little more closely. Okay. Um, the first checking out the room. And yeah, specifically, say, oh, go ahead. Jim. And specifically, what I'm interested in is if there is any markings that might indicate that if this is actually Akhantepi's personal sarcophagus. Does it look like him? All right. So <laughs> just to have everyone hold where they're at real quick. So <clears throat> Charles and Benny are like looking around, scanning for traps, taking 20, being super careful about it. Oh, Ness I just walks there. forward onto the platform. The platform <laughs> slinks in Shit. about two inches. Shit. And the following things happen. Shit. Thanks, the Ash. southern doors <laughs> slam shut. An internal bar mechanically slides in place, sealing the doors. <laughs> Creatures adjacent to the doors, Charles or Venny, may make a reflex save to choose which side of the doors they'd like to end up on. <laughs> Does it I wonder what succeed. I'm going to choose. <laughs> nope. Oh, that's so tough. Well, let me roll to see if I get the choice first. Okay. And then I will have to try to decide what Venny will decide. All right, Venny, you can decide. In and out. <sighs> well, you would think if I was going to look around the room, I would have been in the room. Whoa. But somebody rushed forward. Well, I I'm assuming listen. we were all doing this simultaneously, to be fair. Yeah, I was assuming that too. I well, guess I will jump into the room. All right, Venny, you jump into the room. What a fool I am. Well, hence if we were all going simultaneously, it would have been in the room, not standing well, on the I mean, side. you're taking 20, right? So you start where you're at and then slowly work outwardly in a circle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Have fun, guys. At the same uh, time, uh, bolts of electricity arc between the pillars, striking anyone standing on the platform. Oh my god! <laughs> Roll for initiative. Mm. So, Jim, what's your second character going to be? I don't know. I'll figure it out. So, the question is, how thick... Is this another, you know, foot-thick stone you, door? I don't even know if you went around. The other one's probably barred, too, so... Oh, no, I'm just thinking I do have this wonderful hammer, and it's only a DC-5 to hit the door. They just have to do enough damage to the door. What is that? The sarcophagus immediately oh, yes. animates, stands up, and begins moving toward Esh as the lightning bolts settle. How come I'm not the initiative tracker? Uh, I don't know. Did you have your token select? I used the macro on the character sheet. You need to have your token selected at the time. I got you. All right. So what do we have here? Bolts of electricity. All right. I need a reflex save from Esh versus the electrical arcs. Oh, man. Okay, you take 2d6 points of electrical damage. I should have went the other way. All right, Esh, you are acting first. <laughs> Vinny, you're now wishing you had failed your reflex save like I did? Yeah. Well, I, I actually had in my mind like a 1 in 4 chance of going back, going into the room, and I rolled a 91, which was like over 75%. So, so Charles... In addition, because you failed your reflex save, you're also not prone. I'm going to withdraw. Okay. To here. All right. And cower in the corner. Okay. <laughs> and yes, you... yes, Shadow of a Fox, I should be brave, brave, Madam Esh. Uh, so the sarcophagus is alive. Or That's animated, so at least. The door behind you, you could unlock it using disable device. It will take you 2d4 rounds. <laughs> mm. Leaving the fruit to basically fight this thing alone. Yeah. The question is, how badly do you want your paladin? Uh, 
That is well, a good question. Uh, yeah. Benny's going to move here and uh, draw his, his uh, sword and hope not to die. Okay, that's a good hope. <laughs> so, Benny, let me ask you, what what caused you to jump into the room? Uh, I don't know. A moment of uh, heroic thought, maybe? I mean, I have been traveling with these guys for a while. Okay. Yeah. All right, Deprut. Benny bravely hops behind you and draws his sword. <laughs> yeah. I've had my club in hand since the last room. Yeah. So, go get him. You're bigger than him. I will ready so that if it comes within my threat range, then I'll attack. Okay. Charles, you've been knocked prone. I stand up and begin to beat on said door. Okay. Roll damage. Roll a lot. You deal zero damage to the door. Yeah, I kind of figured. The Prout, your ready to action will activate. <clears throat> nice. A 19 will hit. You deal an extremely reduced amount of damage. Ouch. This creature seems to have adamantine plated... Uh... So, like, you hit the gold of the sarcophagus... It, mm -hmm. like, wipes the gold off. Like, the gold just, like, shatters and flakes, and you see it's adamantine plated underneath. Okay. Yep. Let's uh, spend a question on this. Okay. If I may. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right. You know everything you need to know about this. This it's is bad. a false sarcophagus. It is an animated object. It has an AC of 14, a HP of 36, a will save of minus 4. It has hardness 5 and weakness to cold. It has two attacks. One of them can grab. Once it's grabbed, it can swallow whole. It begins oh. suffocating its target. Put you in the sarcophagus. Yep. It has CMB 15, but can't be tripped. Is there anything else you'd like to know? I think there was something the after hardness or HP 36, hardness 5. Vulnerable to cold. Right. It's brittle. Nothing else besides, besides that at nope. that beginning? Okay. Then nope. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Tell me what you were researching when you found information about these specific types of traps, the false sarcophagi. was more reading a very, very intriguing article on mummification rights and an anti-robber measure was included. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Good research to be doing. <laughs> Deprut, you'll also get an AOO as it continues to move towards Esh. Okay. Oh. She's the target because Ooh. she moved past the threshold. All right, Esh, what's your AC? Yeah. Well. I'm guessing that hits. <laughs> Is it that? <laughs> Minus 10. You take four oh. points of damage, and does a 13 beat your CMD? That's an interesting one. Okay. That's an interesting... Yep. It's probably going to be close. <laughs> My CMD is 12. All right. It locks <sighs> onto you and begins trying to force you inside of its sarcophagus body. So it, like, <sighs> latches onto you, and the front end of it opens up, and it starts pulling you inside of itself. Wow. Esh. Oh. Get out. <laughs> uh, uh... It's terrible. I'm going to try and escape. I should also note, Deprut, it only has a movement speed of 20. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Good it's super slow. Um, oh, you know what, Ash? I apologize. The trap actually triggers again. Um, so before you start making your action, you should know that... Um, I don't even know if there's any of you that can see that far. The northern door opens, and water begins filling the room. 